Hey guys, today we're talking about reverse slowing a K16 Simmons VDO pump, commonly found in a 2008 to 2010 Ford Power Stroke diesel. Uh, very easy to do. Um, you pump yourself, turn it around, uh, you'll see it looks like this on the back. Go ahead and loosen these three screws up. It takes a 6 millimeter Allen head wrench to go ahead and loosen those up. I already loosened these ones up uh, just to make this speed this process up a little bit, but go ahead and pull those out of there. Um, and then after that, just pull this cover off here, but just be nice and easy. And it takes a little bit of wiggle and finesse to get that out of there, but it will come out. Um, you'll see this ring on there. Uh, it looks like this on the back side. Sometimes this ring is actually stuck inside here. If it is, just go ahead and pull it out of there. Um, one thing I will say though is when you pull it out, make sure you're, you're using the same force on the upper and the lower when you pull it out or it will get stuck in there. Um, but uh, So this is what it looks like from the factory. Uh, you see that, that that gap is up on top. To reverse pull, this is very simple. All you do is pull this ring off here, flip it, and put it right back on. What that did is it take that opening from the top and now it puts it on the bottom. And that's it, you're done. Go ahead and put your cover back on. Uh, one thing I will say uh, while I got this apart here, um, when you take this cover off of the seal, there's a gasket that comes with this here. Sometimes that gasket will come off there a little bit or whatever. One thing you want to make sure is that right here there's actually a seal that uh, there's a little loop. It actually goes into a spot that is etched out on the pump itself. Make sure that that is perfectly in there and that the rest of the seal is perfectly in installed or you will have a problem. Uh, it will leak. So um, just be careful with that. But uh, other than that, you're done. Go ahead and put your cover back on. You can put your three bolts back in it. Tighten it up and you're done. That's it. I always tell everybody when they reverse flow a pump, uh, upon an initial startup, just take a look at it and make sure it's not leaking. Um, should be set. Good to go. Enjoy.